Big thanks to Masterbuild for sponsoring this video. If you've ever tried pork belly burned ends, you're gonna love this. I think it was in uh, 2014 that I had my first pork belly burned end. And it was like the doors of heaven opened up. The soft pork belly, it went from something that is ordinary, dry and tough that you get off the grill to something delicious, moist and juicy. And now, I'm looking for my new fix, that new high, and I think I found it. I got a beautiful pork belly with loads of red meat and a little bit of fat. The meat to fat ratio is very, very important. So you're gonna have plenty of chew on, and I'm not talking about that fat. On the other side, you're gonna find that fat cap. I'm gonna take my carving knife and I'm going to cut into the fat cap of the pork belly, making diamond shapes into it. And that's gonna help render down the fat that sits on this pork belly. Look at those beautiful diamond shapes on the pork belly. And I'm gonna use all that space, all those crevices, to load it up with a barbecue rub. Now this is the Pitmaster X classic barbecue rub. The recipe for this rub is on the website and making your rub at home is way cheaper than buying it in a store and it's just as good. By pushing up the meat with your hand, you're opening up the crevices and that's gonna allow the rub to really get in there. When I go into it with my hands, it really opens up and there's more space for flavor in there. Now that is what I call a well-seasoned pork belly, at least on one side. I'm gonna flip it around, do the same for the other side, but it's way easier, it's just, just sprinkle on that rub. This is not about looks on this side. This side is all about adding flavor. All right, you got a little bit of left on the table. Don't let that go to waste. Put that on the edges of the pork belly. Look at that belly dance. <laughs> now that the pork belly is prepped, it's time to fire up the smoker. And this time I'm gonna use the master build. I'm going to load up the hopper with charcoal. Then I'm going to open the ashtray door, give the charcoal grate a good shake that will let all the old ashes drop down into the ash basket. Next, I'm gonna put in some fire starters and light them up. To the ash basket, I'm going to add two blocks of smoke wood, and this is pecan smoke wood. That's gonna go straight into the ash basket, and it's gonna give my pork bellies a beautiful smoke barbecue flavor. Time to switch it on and set it to smoke at a temperature of 140 degrees Celsius. I'm gonna let the master build come up to temperature, then I'm gonna slide in a tray that's going to catch the drippings from the fat that renders down of the pork belly. Of course, I still want the smoke to get everywhere, so I'm gonna use an elevator rack that will allow the smoke to pass underneath the pork belly and still give the pork belly smoke flavor on the bottom. Place the pork belly in, stick in a thermometer in the thickest part of the pork belly, and then close the lid i let the pork belly smoke until it reaches a core temperature of 92 degrees Celsius. Pork belly is almost done. And in the meantime, I'm gonna make a barbecue sauce. Starting with a cup of ketchup, a quarter cup of apple juice, and don't cheap out, get the good stuff. It will make all the difference. This stuff is freaking amazing. You know with a little, it's called fibers, fibers. A tablespoon of Worcester sauce, half a tablespoon of ground black pepper, a tablespoon of Pitmaster X classic barbecue rub. And of course, I already told you about the Pitmaster X classic barbecue rub. It's on pitmasterx.com. Follow that up with a tablespoon of honey and three tablespoons of cane sugar. And that's a basic barbecue sauce called the sweet apple barbecue sauce from Pitmaster X. Now for what I'm doing now with my steaks, I wanna add a little extra to it. Honey whiskey, from JD and a little bit of chili flakes. In my case, I'm gonna add half a tablespoon of chili flakes. You can add more or less if you want to, depending on how hot you like it. And now in goes the honey whiskey. I'm going to let that honey whiskey become warm. I will let the alcohol evaporate and then we'll light it up. You see the flames are shooting up from the little, like a little volcano. It's fun. And it serves a point because the alcohol is evaporated Everybody can eat it, and you're still gonna have that beautiful flavor from the whiskey. That's an oak barrel type of flavor. If you don't have a really good barbecue sauce recipe like this in your kitchen, in your home, in your phone, or whatever, then you need to have one of these because it's like a lifeline. It's like having mayonnaise in your cupboard. It's like having butter in your fridge. You gotta have some of this. You never know when burgers are gonna happen. You never know when there's a party, somebody shows up with a bunch of frikandella puts them in a deep fryer and says, where's your barbecue sauce? Just imagine that scenario. What are you gonna do then? Oh. 
Look at my pork belly. Just a quick moment to realize what we're looking at. Listen to this. That is all crispy and crunchy. Just look at that thing right there. This little thing, that little piece of fat that we scored. That's the reason why we score it because now the outside is crispy and absolutely freaking delicious. Mm. So delicious. And that's also where the term burned ends come from, where you almost have that burned experience, but yet it is really crispy. With pork belly burned ends, I would cube this up, but not now. Now I'm making pork belly burned steaks. Yeah, <laughs> trust me, it's good. I'll, I'll show you. We're just gonna take the whole thing and cut it up into steaks, if you can get through that crust. Look at that beautiful smoke ring right there. That is a cute smoke ring, isn't it? Look, it's sitting there at the bottom, just like I said where it would be, where the smoke would get in that tray and underneath. I'm just gonna slice the whole thing up into steaks. Be careful, because this is at 92 degrees Celsius and it's almost fall apart tender. And pork belly steaks are supposed to melt in your mouth and not on your cutting board. There we have it. Our beautiful steaks. Plenty of steaks to go around. We're halfway there, but just look at this result. How juicy, how tender, how extremely tasty. I'm gonna use the tray that I smoked my pork belly on and put the steaks on the tray, side by side, just like you would with bacon. Sprinkle on a little bit of Pitmaster X classic barbecue rub and then brush on that barbecue sauce. Wow, that really looks freaking amazing and I want to bite into it right now, but it's not burned end at this moment. This is just pork belly steaks with barbecue sauce on top of them. Now comes the magical part. We gotta put this back in the barbecue. We're going to hit it with 250 degrees Celsius and that's going to crispen up and caramelize that barbecue sauce on top of those pork belly steaks. And the pork belly burnt steaks are done. We got that little burned end on the crust. Everything darkened up, the sauce thickened in. Everything got absolutely nice and sticky. So it's about time I take these off the grill, put them on my plate. This is the next best thing. Look at those monsters. Eten. Eten. Eten is Dutch for uh, eating. Hey. Mm. It is so tender. Let me just demonstrate what I mean. You can just like sh shred it up. It is the ultimate comfort food. This really is pork belly 2.0. You know when I was talking about that fix? This is the fix. This literally is the better version of pork belly burnt ends. Mm. The chili flakes with the honey whiskey, truly a great addition to the uh, Pitmaster Sweet Apple Barbecue Sauce. 